uh, with uh, the support astronaut, Steve Hawley, uh, has been preparing the orbiter for their arrival and reported that everything is in readiness. And here they come out, led by Gene String from NASA Security and George Abbey, the chief of the office, Ken Mattingly and Henry Hartsfield getting into the Astro van uh, for the trip out to the launch pad. John Young accompanying them. Uh, John Young, the commander of the first flight of the space shuttle. Uh, he'll accompany them out to the pad, and then he will return to fly the shuttle training aircraft uh, to determine that it is indeed possible for them to have a return to launch site aboard if uh, that should become necessary, and to uh, take another look at the weather at the shuttle landing facility. This is shuttle launch control at T minus two hours, 22 minutes and counting. The astronaut caravan carrying astronauts Ken Mattingly and Henry Hartsfield is on its way out to the pad. At the present time, they're on the road leading to the vehicle assembly building. When they reach the pad uh, and go up into the white room prior to entering the orbiter, they're going to be greeted by a sign which was put up by the closeout crew uh, for Auburn University War Eagles, containing uh, those words, plus uh, a number of patches that are representative of the university. Both of the astronauts, as well as center director at Kennedy Space Center, Dick Smith, are graduates of Auburn University. In the crew compartment, the crew members, uh, Ken Manningly and Hank Hartsfield, are in the process of going through their switch list uh, to position the switches and doing comm checks to ensure that uh, everything is ready uh, for their mission. In just a, uh, a, a short time from now, the technicians will uh, begin the closing of the hatch on the orbiter. Once the hatch is closed and locked in place, Special plugs of orbiter insulating materials will be screwed into place. The countdown clock continuing at T minus 48 minutes, 40 seconds and counting. This is shuttle launch OSB control. Take out. Self test complete. 30 seconds. Okay, they're coming across the swing on now. ISLOTC. ISL go. Okay, I'm launching this criteria. You go. We're go. DPS, OTC. This DPS, we're go. HYD, OTC. CHYD is go. DVD, OTC. DVD is go. CWS. CWS is go. COFS. COFS is go. AFM. AFM go. GLS. GLS go. CCME. CCME. 
Vigo. MPL. MPL, go. CGSF. CGSF, go. CCSE. CCSE is go. NSE. NSE, go. OFC. OFC, go. GNC. GNC, go. MPS. MPS, go. SNE. SNE, go. APU. APU, go. FCT. FCT, go. HTD. HTD, go. XFC. Correction, AFC. AFC, go. CODS. ODS is go. And CMQC. We're we'll go. Thank you. The shuttle is now on internal power. However, the fuel cells are still receiving their fuels from ground support equipment for another minute. T minus 90 seconds and counting. T minus 1 minute 20 seconds and counting. The liquid hydrogen tank is at flight pressure. Coming up on the one minute point in our countdown. Coming up on T minus one minute. T minus one minute and counting. The firing system for the sound suppression water system on the pad is armed. T minus 45 seconds. We are 14 seconds away from switching command of the countdown from the ground computers to the onboard computers. And the development flight instrumentation recorders are on. T minus 35 seconds. The GOX vent arm is fully retracted, and we're switching control of the countdown to the onboard computers. T minus 25 seconds. The SRB hydraulic power units have started. T minus 20 seconds and counting. T minus 15. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. We have main engine ignition. 4, 3, 2, 1. And we have solid motor ignition and liftoff. Liftoff of America's space shuttle on its first mission, and we have cleared the tower. Houston now controlling, mission control confirmed, roll maneuver started. 20 seconds, the rough looks good. 26 seconds, roll maneuver completed. 30 seconds, one nautical mile in altitude, throttling engines down to 65% now as program. 36 seconds, plot board status looks good, mission control. 42 seconds, Columbia now three nautical miles in altitude. 46 seconds, coming up on create a maximum aerodynamic pressure on the vehicle. 52 seconds, Columbia now four nautical miles in altitude. 56 seconds, pass through max Q, still looking good. Throttling in, giving a go at throttle up. Mark one minute, 10 seconds. Columbia now seven nautical miles in altitude, four nautical miles downrange. One minute, 20 seconds. Columbia now nine nautical miles in altitude, six nautical miles downrange. One minute, 30 seconds. Columbia now 12 nautical miles in altitude, nine nautical miles downrange. Velocity now reading 3,900 feet per second. One minute, 42 seconds, coming up now on negative seats where altitude is too high for ejection seat use. Columbia, Houston, negative seats. Roger, negative seats. One minute, 57 seconds, Columbia now 21 nautical miles in altitude, uh, 21 nautical miles down range. Two minutes, three seconds, standing by for solid rocket booster separation. Roger, PC-50. Two minutes, 14 seconds, confirm solid rocket booster separation. Roger, 